Chinese cities are so vast and densely populated that it can sometimes be overwhelming to find your way around. In this video we will show you the best ways to get around our city of Nani. We live in a city of 8 million people, comparatively small in Chinese towns. The best way to get around here if you live here is an e-bike. Traffic in China can be crazy, especially at peak times. But if you hop on your little electric friend, you can escape the rush hour traffic jump. There are places to charge them at every apartment complex and also loads of public charging ports. If you live in Nanning, but for some reasons you can't drive an e-bike, or maybe you're traveling here, you need to know about public transport. Do you know what these are for? Um, fire against, I don't know. This area gets a lot of uh, torrential rain and downpours, so when the rainwater comes down the stairs, they will take these sandbags, lay them across, so that the rainwater doesn't flood the subway station. The subway system here in Nanning is fast, clean, and modern. You can use WeChat Pay, pay by cash, or you can download an app and also pay that way. I bet if you were to picture a Chinese subway station, this is not what you would have in mind. Uh, this subway station is so quiet. It's usually crazy busy, but now we're here now. It's really simple to navigate your way through it. There are great facilities at every station, and you can buy refreshments in these machines. One good thing about the subway station here in Nanning, and I think uh, all over China, is that they have this protective glass frame to stop people jumping out in front of the trains. Or just when it's very crowded, yeah. you know. So it stops people falling in front of the train if it's very crowded, because believe me, these places can get pretty packed, so these are always good to have. And then standard enough when you're finished, you just put the wee token in. For me, all I have to do is to scan it and free to go. Best places to eat in Nanning are a little bit hard to get to, but you can take a public bus and the bus system is very developed so you can get whatever you want. It's a little bit too long and crowded. However, on this street, there is a BRT, which means bus rapid transit, which has its own line, so it's a little bit faster because there is no traffic jams on these lines, obviously. If you want to escape the crowds, San Lu Chur is a tuk-tuk service in China that can be found in some of the smaller towns on the outskirts of Nanning. However, the more modern way to get around is a rentable electric bike. Like these Hello bikes, um, they're rentable e-bikes and all you have to do is scan the code and it costs 3 quai to take it wherever you want. So, uh, the app is on Alipay, it's called Hello Bike, and it's a really convenient way of getting around. It's time to go out and we decided to go by taxi. And we will use a Chinese Uber, Didi. It works pretty much the same way, like Uber or Grab, and the price is quite nice. Hi. I'm dry. You care with you? Yeah. What have I told you now? That you could have the car home and have a few pints for me. Really? Yeah. That is where these lads come in. If you're out at a bar and you have the car with you, don't worry because there are always these men outside bars that will be happy to drive your car home. This is a great service if you drive a car in Nanning. They drive carefully and take good care of your car.
So that's it for another video. Um, if you live in China, maybe you can let us know uh, what the best ways to get around your city are. And if you don't live in China, do you think those ways are convenient or maybe strange for you? Yep, and as always, leave a big like on the video and uh, please subscribe to the channel because it means a lot to us. Next week, we've got a, a really cool video about Monkey Mountain here in Guangxi, which is really nice. So uh, stay tuned and we'll see you soon. And hopefully, it will give you something to see.